Fox News is Sean Hannity thought that he would bring on Democratic California Governor Gavin Newsom and make him look dumb by getting him to talk about Biden and getting him to talk about California. And Gavin Newsom proved everything I have been saying about him for the last several months. You know, Gavin Newsom is not the most progressive, but Gavin Newsom strikes exactly the right tone, demeanor and temperament that the Democratic Party could use more of. This is a guy who every time I see him interviewed proves that he is a serious potential future contender for the Democratic presidential nomination. Now, would he be attacked for being the liberal California woke? Yeah, he would. Uh, Would he have answers to those claims? He would look at this interview and look at how Newsom crushes Sean Hannity on his own show, starting here with economic issues. This is a clinic. This is when you have trainings done of Democratic candidates. This is what you need to be showing for our president. I have great confidence in his. I don't want him. I don't want him to fail. Able to accomplish. I think his policies are failing. Ah, Chips Act, Science Act. Do you oppose that? Uh, I will tell you on every measure from the economy, inflation, borders, energy, uh, national security. He's missing in action. Let's talk about them in order. Let's hang on. uh, Wait, but I don't want to challenge the premise. Hannity wants to list them, but he doesn't want to go through one by one. Typical. The economy, 13.1 million jobs he's created. More. These are post COVID jobs. You know that. I mean, that's an artificial number. No, no, no. no. Then let me just let me stipulate this as an as an opportunity to engage civilly on this. Okay. Fair point. Your president, Donald Trump, lost 2.6 million jobs mm-hmm. during his four years. We've created 13.1 million. Fine, you can maintain a COVID frame. How about the fact that Joe Biden's created more jobs, six times more jobs than the previous three Republican presidents? Your, combined? Are you going to tell me shot? that the average family, where we have two thirds of Americans now living paycheck to paycheck, it was 70 percent under Trump. Trump? That's just freaking brilliant, guys. Guys, that this is exact. They love to cite these numbers. Two thirds of families are now paycheck to paycheck. Of course, it's not actually two thirds. Two thirds would be sixty six point six percent. The number is actually in the low 60s. So Hannity rounds up and Newsom points out that number is down like seven points from when Trump was president. This is exactly how you have to fight these guys. That was That's 70 true. percent. It was 70 percent under Donald Trump. Trump COVID, we had the paycheck. lowest unemployment rate for every demographic. And they are even lower now. now we have the lowest black me, unemployment in history you. and you and I are living with the lowest unemployment we had in our lifetime. We, we had it for every demographic and the economy black was Black unemployment's along. record low under Joe Biden. OK. We had historic low after historic low under Donald Trump. And it is even better now. This is how you don't back down from these bullies. Two of the best messaging folks. I'm talking from a communication standpoint right now. Okay, we're not doing a policy analysis are on the left are Gavin Newsom and Pete Buttigieg. Okay, This is how you have to fight these people. Now, obviously, this alone won't win you elections. I'm not delusional, but this is how you do it. Here is the topic of inflation. And Newsom is just barreling through Hannity. I'm answering the ones in order. You brought up the economy on the economy. Let's talk about the economy. You want to give him an A? Inflation stubborn around the globe. Let's let's but let's talk about inflation. It's down 40 percent since last summer, 10 True. months in a row, 4.9 percent. He was okay. just with the- and, and by the way, now down to 4 percent. This interview was from last night, so that's why they don't have that data yet. UK prime minister at 6.9 percent. Is that because of Biden's? I think Fed Biden's policy? economic and energy policy directly yeah. impacted the UK's inflation. No, I am or the fact you. that France is 5.5 <laughs> percent or Germany's at 6.1 you're gonna percent. Give, you're not on inflation. We're moving in the right direction, folks. He's steamrolling him. This it, it, it's stunning. Hannity is Hannity is lost control and he doesn't have the facts on his hand on the issue of the border inflation, security. He inherited one point four percent inflation. It went up to 40 year globally, high after 40 year globally, high globally, globally, because you just brought so up. So, so you were making an give, excuse for Trump's dismal jobs record related to COVID. It wasn't a dismal you jobs record. COVID's relationship to inflation. This is this, folks. This is this is textbook. Hannity wants to have it both ways. Yes, Trump lost two point six million jobs, but that was because of covid. But what about high inflation under Biden? Well, hold on. That's globally because of covid. Oh, no, then it's not. Then covid isn't the explanation. Newsom is 
almost perfect on this. Hannity pulls the Biden's weak thing. Here is Newsom. I think he's a man of decency and character. I'm really proud of the president. I'm proud of what he's accomplished. Is he strong enough years. to be president? That's what I'm strong talking enough. about. Look what he just did to McCarthy. He, he ran circles. Look, look at the vote card. I didn't Kevin like just vote. got. I wouldn't I mean, have voted for it. Exactly. Kevin got played by the president of the United States. I'm for results. Did I'm you did you see what just happened? Did you see that Hannity is agreeing with Newsom? Newsom's making the argument if Biden is so weak, how did he have McCarthy wrapped around his finger and got McCarthy to do exactly what he wanted? And Hannity goes, I wouldn't vote have voted for that bill that McCarthy voted for. That's the point. If Biden is so weak, how did he perfectly engineer McCarthy into doing what he wanted him to do here? Just a couple more of these. And this we could do this all day. Here's Newsom explaining, hey, you know, California actually works pretty well. Yeah, things are expensive because people want to go there. It's called supply and demand. But California is working pretty damn well. In 2021, California had 7.8 percent of GDP, GDP growth in this country, one of the fastest growing economies anywhere on planet Earth. This state continues to be the tent pole of the American economy. Twenty five point six percent of all American jobs came from this state in April. In the last two fiscal years, we enjoyed one hundred and seventy seven point seven billion dollars in operating surpluses. We're on our way to be the fourth largest economy. Eat your heart out, Germany, in the world. Number one in R&D, venture capital, more scientists, researchers, more Nobel laureates, more patents emanating out of this state than any other state in America. With all due respect, Florida doesn't even come close. Eat your heart out, <laughs> Texas. California continues to I be the dominant economic engine I, for the American. I I promised you before this interview, I would let you give full answers. That's a full answer. Thank you. Yeah, it is. And I mean, when you can't when you can't argue the facts, Hannity has no choice but to say thank you for at least answering the questions. And here, lastly, is um, uh, Newsom just humiliating Ron DeSantis. They were told they had jobs. They told they were going to get certain court dates changed. They were dropped off. They knocked on the door and they left. And there was not coordinated. I mean, what kind of faith? Tradition every single, for there is a video demonization of the people getting on the plane. because they were all lied to and, and were, told and they you're were being asked, taken care of everything's going to be great I would be well, then, proud and happy then then because by they the landed, way I have the RFP because they landed in your sanctuary yeah. state you're going to take care of them they should be happy look we'll we'll, we'll deal with the car I mean, come on this is California. I know it's called. Okay. I'm not it's aware of where it's I am. The, on this way, the fourth largest economy in the world. We can handle. Of course, all we got this. Okay, I'm a border state. Ron DeSantis is not. I know he's desperate to get in on the action. No, because a lot he's of people. belly flop. Donald Trump is going to clean. Is it his fair clock. that Joe Biden DeSantis has we'll belly flop? Do you, he will clean his clock. He needs I don't have a crystal attention, ball. and he set this up months ago by doing an RFP. I have the contractors okay. My question that he tried is, to hire, saying he was going to send people to California. This is a stunt. It's embarrassing. It's, it's not, pathetic. I, I disagree. Stunt. I think he it's did the right thing. His state's not a sanctuary state. Heart. Well, he did the right thing by by flying migrants around, even though I can't explain why. Folks, this is a formidable political force. And this is not about cheerleading Newsom as the epitome of the progressive candidate. This is about a model for the next generation democratic movement that better knows how to deal with these would be bullies. If you didn't know any better, you'd think that was Gavin Newsom's show and that he was allowing Hannity to say a few things, things which, by the way, didn't make a lot of sense. Excellent job by Gavin Newsom. One of our sponsors today is replace your mortgage. Mortgages are a really interesting thing in the United States. The poor often can't afford them and the rich often don't use them. Instead, the wealthy use special financial tools to pay off their debts, often in a fraction of the time that it takes for a middle class American to realize that same payoff. Replace your mortgage teaches you how you can pay off your home in five to seven years without needing to make more money than you're currently making right now. And in addition, they can teach you how to better utilize your existing assets and equity to begin or continue growing wealth and passive income through additional strategies. And they actually have an upcoming workshop that will show you how you can take advantage of these strategies, how it all works, create your own economy in a sense. You can go to replaceyouruniversity.com slash Pacman.
to watch the interview I did with their founder, Michael Lush, to learn how you can get exclusive access to what can be a life changing virtual event. The link is in the description.